so tonight we get another look at the decorated lightweight champion, Islam Makhachev. This is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Such a nuanced game on the ground. Outstanding striker as well. And puts his belt on the line yet again tonight. Yeah, you know, John, he puts his belt on the line. This guy, this guy does everything so well. He's so well-rounded, he's so skilled, he's so gifted, and he is so confident in his ability to go and get you. It's that simple. I'm gonna get you. I'll get my hands locked, I'll throw you to the ground, and I will make you engage with me on my terms. That has allowed him to become the champion, and tonight, he has even more of an advantage because there's the boy, Hasbula. Hasbula entrenched in the corner of Islam Makashev, and we'll probably have a photo shoot later. for this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Raul El Nino Cobrema Rosa Jr. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. Herb Dean, third Good party time. in the octagon Good. tonight. Good. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, oh. but this venue will always have a special place for you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in half. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Nice defense. <laughs> Makhachev's in half court. Can all these shots count? Oh, good defense, yes. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Makashev's in half goal. Ground and pound strike there now. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Nice transition. 
Rosas Jr. is looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Trying to set up a submission now. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Oh, that arm is in real trouble. He's got it isolated. He's looking to finish. This has got to be in the fight. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over, but his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. All right, here we go with round two. And he connects with the punch there. There by the champion. Good jab. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there. Unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent. His ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Wow. Nice judo toss for him there. Beautiful transition. Makashev's able to transition back to side control now. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, what a beautiful seamless transition to side mount. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. That darse is tight. Oh, that looks painful. That's got to be it. There's the tie. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by tap out, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. All right, so there he is, and still UFC lightweight champion at 155 pounds. That's saying something, right? A murderer's row of contenders, and the number one contender, no matter.